Hello, welcome back to the channel. Sorry we were off last week due to some technical issues, but we are sorted now and back on track this week. Please like and interact with our video to help reach all those football analysis fans out there. In this video, we we'll discuss the role of Jackson in this game, his combination play and his man of the match performance. We'll also break down how Chelsea utilized Sancho, Enzo and the left-sided players to create spaces behind the West Ham defense. We look at how Enzo Maresca adjusted his team's press by defending deeper. Finally, we cap off with one of Caicedo's best performances in the Chelsea shirt. Maresca broke West Ham down with ease and they had their opponents on the ropes. They finished the game within 15 minutes. With a few players out due to injuries, we saw Kukurela inverting to form a box midfield. Jackson was brilliant and effective on both sides of the ball. His overall play and finishing were strong. Jackson acted as a great link, showing quick plays to create space behind him and his rider. He combined well with both Sancho and the players around him. He formed the diamond with the midfield by dropping off and allowing Kopama to run ahead of him. This created space behind as the defender followed him, giving him room to run into. We saw him betting on himself and he came out on top with the second goal. Sancho has started his Chelsea career very well. After his debut against Southampton, he continued his good form in this game. His performance stood out as he dragged Aero Wambisaka out of position on the left, creating space for the left-sided players to exploit. This was key in Chelsea creating the first goal and exploiting West Ham's defence. Chelsea were great on the break and had opportunities to score more. Jackson assisted Palmer for the third goal with a great try. Felix had some chances and Nkuku missed the setter. Kaiseto was fantastic on the day. He had the game in the chokehold both defensively and offensively. He assisted the second goal and created Nkunku's chance. He covered so much space and came through with crucial tackles. This was one of his best performances for Chelsea. Talking about defense, Chelsea were more laid back. They sat in the 4 4 2 mid block and covered spaces centrally and were aggressive in tracking opponents. There were several occasions when Tosin and Cole followed attackers deep into their own half. However, things were very smooth all around. With Kudus in West House lineup, there was a consistent threat, especially on the flanks. He directly challenged the left back, and the Blues were on ropes defensively in those wide areas. Overall, it was a good game for Chelsea. They killed the game quickly but left a lot on the table. They didn't dominate West Ham like they did against Wolves. However, Mareske's team is moving beyond the teaching problems and showing a glimpse of what they can become. Let's know in the comment section what you thought of the match and which players impressed you the most. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all our latest contents. Thanks for watching.